Let's tell you about the five-judge bench that delivered this historic judgment. First, the Chief Justice of India, Ranjan Gogoi, he was one of the four judges who had conducted a press conference last year. Remember, that event had raised serious questions over how politically sensitive cases are being handled in the top court. As Chief Justice, Ranjan Gogoi ensured the rollout of the NRC, the National Register of Citizens. He is set to retire on the 17th of November, and before that, he will also decide on the Rafal case and the Sabri Mala verdict. Interesting times ahead. Next on the list is Justice S.A. Bobde, the next in line to become the Chief Justice of India. He is heading the bench that will decide on the petitions against the scrapping of Article 370. Third, we have Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, already popular because of some of his recent judgments. He ruled in favor of the right to privacy. He favored the entry of women to, into Shabrimala, and he was also part of the bench that stubbed out homosexuality as a criminal offense. Justice D.Y. Chandrachur was the only judge to deliver a dissenting opinion on the Aadhaar Act. Next, we have Justice Ashok Bhushan. He was the only judge on the bench from the state of Uttar Pradesh. Justice Bhushan was part of the bench that also upheld the Aadhaar Act. And finally, Justice S. Abdul Nazir. The youngest judge on this bench, he has been part of two historic decisions, right to privacy and the ruling that struck down triple talaq. Earlier this evening, the Chief Justice took his four brother judges on the bench for dinner at a five-star hotel in New Delhi, a much-deserved treat, we say.